Okay, welcome back everybody. This is our third video in the factoring series, and this is a special technique called factoring by grouping. Okay, the first and most significant thing that many of you might have noticed is that this is different from our previous videos because instead of a 1, we now have a different number in front of our x, a different x or x squared. And this is a different coefficient than what we're used to. So in order to solve these types of problems, we have to use this special technique called factoring by grouping. Okay, so let's get started. Uh, before I begin, I just want to say that uh, this technique generally takes a couple of times uh, before you can really master it. So don't get frustrated. If, if you feel a little confused at first, uh, that's perfectly natural. Uh, but please don't get frustrated. Just try it a couple of times and you'll see that it's, it's actually pretty easy once you get the hang of it. Okay, so the first step is to take this first number and this final number, and you're going to multiply them. And 6 times negative 4 makes negative 24. And that's the number that we're going to try to multiply to make negative 24. Okay, and then we're going to do the same exact thing we did in the previous videos, which is to combine to make this positive 5. So right here, we'll put a positive 5. All right. Now, to combine to make negative 24 and combine, or I'm sorry, to multiply to make negative 24 and to combine to make positive 5, uh, we're going to try the numbers. Well, take a second and think about it. See if you can figure out what numbers would you multiply to make negative 24 and combine to make positive 5. And you could pause the video and give it a try. See if you can figure out what numbers I'm going to use. Okay, so the numbers that you should be thinking to try are negative 3 and positive 8. Okay, so negative 3 times positive 8 will make negative 24. And negative 3 plus 8 will make positive 5. Okay, so those are my magic numbers. So these are very significant, the negative 3 and the positive 8. All right, now we're going to do our grouping. This is the part that gives it its name, the grouping part. Our first group is 6x squared. We just take the first term and we copy it. That is it. You just copy it. And now you grab your first magic number, which in this case is negative 3, and you put an x. Now you're going to make your second grouping. So to make the second grouping, you're just going to take the second magic number, which is positive 8. So I'm going to put plus 8x, and right here I'm going to put a negative 4. All right, so what I can see is that this 6x squared stayed the same. This negative 4 stayed the same. They will always stay the same. You just copy, copy. These middle numbers are the only numbers that I changed, negative 3x and positive 8x. Hopefully, if you look at it for a second, you'll see that they would create that positive 5x. All right, so right now we've got one nice big expression, but we're going to treat it as two separate groups, and this is group 1. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to factor group 1. So I can see that into this x squared, I could fit an x. And over here, I could also fit an x. And I can factor out a 3. So I can factor out 3x times 2x minus 1. Okay, because 3x times 2x makes 6x squared. And 3x times negative 1 makes negative 3x. And now... I can take the second group and do the same process. I can factor. So now I'm going to take out a 4, a positive 4. So plus 4. Now the x we can't factor this time because there's no corresponding x over here. So right here I'm going to put 2x minus 1. And what you can see hopefully is that this 2x minus 1 looks exactly like that 2x minus 1. Okay, so now we're done with the grouping component, and we can put it all back together into one big expression. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to factor out. So I'm just going to make parentheses, and I'm going to take out the 2x minus 1. And in the second set of parentheses, I'm going to put 3x plus 4. And there you go. This 3x and that 4 ended up right here. And this 2x minus 1 and this 2x minus 1 ended up right there. 
And you'll see if you FOIL that you have the correct answer. 2x times 3x makes 6x squared. 2x times 4 makes plus 8x. Negative 3x. Negative 4. And 6x squared plus 5x minus 4. And it is correct. It matches. So this right here was my question. And this right here is my answer. All right. So that's the technique called factoring by grouping. Again, if you want to go back and watch the video again to see how that process worked, you can go right ahead. The secret part is that you can just factor out that 2x minus 1 and that 2x minus 1 and just pull them out the same way you pulled out 3x from here. And when you put that in the front, then you have just these purple terms left and you can put them in the back. And that always works. Uh, all right, so let's try another problem so that you can sample it yourself. Okay, so I encourage you to pause the video at this point and try this problem. Again, if you need to go back and watch it again, uh, don't feel bad. That's everybody. Uh, everybody struggles with factoring by grouping the first time they see it. And then if you do it three or four times, you'll feel better about it. Okay, so uh, let's go through this problem nice and quickly. You can pause it and try it, but uh, let's get working on the solution now. Okay, so step one, we grab the numbers, four and positive two, and we multiply them. And that's going to make an eight. And that's the number that we need to multiply to make. And then we're going to grab our second number, which is negative 9. And that's the number that we need to combine to make. OK. So here I can see that I'm going to use, uh, let's see here, negative 8 times negative 1. Yeah, that looks right, because negative and negative makes positive. And 8 times 1 makes 8. And then 8, negative 8 minus 1 will make a negative 9. So those are my two magic numbers. Okay. All right. So now I've got my magic numbers. Now I'm going to do my grouping. Again, I'm a little faster on the second problem, guys. So hopefully, if you're confused, you can go back and watch the original video. Okay, copy the first term. Grab your first magic number, negative 8x. Now, make your second grouping, negative 1x plus 2. Okay. And now you can see that that negative 8 and negative 1 would make that negative 9. All right. Next, we're going to factor out a 4x. And that's going to result in x minus 2. And here, we're going to factor out a negative 1. And that's going to result in x minus 2. Okay, and now I can see my matching term, x minus 2, x minus 2. So I create my parentheses, and I put x minus 2. And now I see that I have 4x and minus 1. So my second parentheses will be 4x and minus 1. And that is my final answer. And we can FOIL to double check that. x times 4x makes 4x squared. Negative 1x. Negative 8x. And positive 2. 4x squared minus 9x plus 2. Which double checks perfectly. And there is my correct answer. Okay. So, thank you for watching this video. And don't forget to like and subscribe and to visit the website at www.grassymath.com.